G'day mate and welcome back to Factory Island with me, JD. Yes, we're still doing our tutorial series and yes, we're out of materials. Big surprise. Start crafting more. Um, last episode. Last episode, we raided all these boxes again and again and again. Um, last episode, we got our first smelting block done. We, we paste in our images for all our other smelting blocks. We got another... Uh, we, we doubled our power, basically, and I forgot to put a radar down there. Oops. Um, let's craft some radars, so hopefully I remember to use them. Um, but we need to automate red science again, and at the same time, we also need to automate um, green science. So, I gotta remember that. So, automation science pack, and then logistics science pack, which we're currently in the process of researching. So, where are those? Those are going to come down here on my bar as well. So, because I have a mixed belt, I don't really have a lot of options as to what comes off where. But I want a mixed belt early on. Uh, actually, I don't want you to do that. I want you to make gears. I want a mixed belt early on because I want a bit of iron and I want a bit of copper. You're a stupid. Try again. There we go. Um, now... Automation science pack takes five seconds, needs one copper plate and one iron gear. Machine, uh, iron gear. So I have a assembler making gears. I'm going to have it output the gears onto the imaginary belt right there. Now, he's going to just shove gears on one side of the belt, but I also need copper on that exact same belt. So I need to get our copper on that belt. Now, if I... If... Uh, if I think about this, if I do that, that'd force copper onto one side of the belt. It's not going to be a hundred percent because there is always a chance that this little bit of iron here might jump onto this belt. I can't have that. What I can do with the splitters is I can click on them to bring up their interface and I can filter that only copper plate comes out on the right hand side. The catch is, if I clear the belt, you'll see copper no longer comes out on the left hand side. So to get around that, I can do this, which means that the copper unfortunately has to slide up and then slide back down. Okay, The iron can pass through, it can also go up and back down, but it means I now have the two materials I need for automation science pack on the one belt. Now automation science pack takes five seconds to build. So what I actually want to do is I want to set up five machines. Um, purely simplistically, because it just makes life easier if you just have the same amount of machines that it takes for something to craft. Um, it also means that as you go forward in, um, in Factoria, you can try and make sure that everything's crafted at roughly the same speed. Uh, unfortunately, our gun turret's going to get in the way, so we'll move him out here, and him out here, and him out here. We'll pick up you as well. We have so much ammo, which is a good thing, because it means I can monitor them less and less. And it also means that I can... Yeah, he's still got 99 ammo. He's fine. Um... So yeah, the more ammo we have, it means the less we actually have to monitor our gun turrets. We need to give an output for these guys as well. And uh, you're actually gonna go there. You need to move as well. We can just claim claim territory ever so slowly by moving our gun turret, our gun turret wall forward. I don't want to take that ammo. No. Just put an ammo down there. Okay, so we need output. Woo, there goes the tech. Okay. So now everything requires red and green science. We don't have green science automated. I'm just going to hit T to click, close the technology tree uh, and ignore it because we can't. The next science step is not automated yet. Sorry about that. Um, had a had a, a frog or a, or a, some other deadly strain animal in my throat. Had to cough. Um, so next science pack we want is the logistics science pack. As you can see, this one takes six seconds. So it's a little bit more complicated to, to make. So consequently, well, it takes a little bit longer to make and it's a little bit more complicated. So we're gonna need more assembly machines. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And the other thing that I researched a long time ago and I haven't actually started using is lights. So let's put down some lights so we can see what we're doing. Uh, right, sh shift right click to copy this one, shift left click to paste. We'll paste them all back down. We'll give you and you an output, you and you an output, you and you an output. Uh, input will be on this side, obviously. And as shown before, because in, uh, insert is only output on one side of the belt, we're obviously going to have green science on one half of this belt and red science on the other half of the belt. And we can demonstrate that by here. Have some of them and have some of them. I can handcraft all the prerequisites, but obviously we don't want to handcraft inserters and belts or even go down to our little temporary factory to grab the belts and handcraft the inserters for them then to output into science packs. We really want to automate every step of this process. So next on the list is drag our belt along. We know previously from making uh, belts that they required gears to make belts. Uh, and because this needs two iron plate, I give it two inserters. They're not terribly fast, and this is why I use two of them. And we're going to have you output right there and worm your way up here. And we now have one half of this loop that we need automated. The other thing we need to make is inserters. Now we haven't actually automated those at all at this point. Um, again, move the gun turrets. So for inserters, we need iron plate and gear wheels. Well, we've just done that. So we know we can do gears there gears there, iron plate there, give ourselves power. But we also need electronic circuits. Now electronic circuits we did automate previously and they require three copper cable and one iron plate. So three copper cable and then one to make green circuits. Copy and paste. lots of power you can never have too many power poles you can have people yell at you for making two bank power poles but we'll worry about that later uh, oops they're around the wrong way okay so again it needs two copper cable we can if I empty that machine we can see it's not quite getting copper fast enough so we'll double our, our inserters and no, you're an input. I'm just going to have you just for the moment output the box because I want to demonstrate this. So we need three copper cable, and one iron plate. And you see, it's not getting the copper cable in fast enough. We had this problem before. So I'll give you two inserters. It's still not getting in quite fast enough, even with two inserters. So we have these fast inserters here. If I pull you up and give you a fast inserter, how are you feeling about it now? Still not quite fast enough. So we already know that we need two fast inserters to keep this machine. And now you can see we've got too much copper cable. But it's fully fed, and that's the important thing. It's going to run at its full speed. Now, one of the things we didn't look at is how long does copper cable take to craft? It takes half a second. You actually get two of them. And this needs three copper cables. So actually, we don't need three machines. We just need two machines. And in fact, we don't even need two machines. We need one and a half machines. And I can't cut a machine in half. But what I can do is get rid of all this, have three machines with two machines. And we can have these guys do copper cable, and we already know we need fast inserters, so let's get some fast inserters. And have fast, 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 fast. 
We know we need two of them. So, that's the copper cable done. But now we need iron. So, we have this splitter back here. Which we can happily take off. Well, we can happily take materials out of. Uh, and run that to here. And now we can put our iron in. But that brings the question of where are we going to put output our green circuits? Because if we put one here, we're going to have to underground all over the place. One thing that we have got access to now is a longhand inserter. So a longhand inserter reaches not one tile out, but two tiles out. So now we can have our green circuits being pushed all the way up further away from this first belt up to here. Uh, they do take a standard inserter to craft, so that's where all my standard inserters disappeared to. And if I just line that up there, we're still going to need to underground something, so I might as well underground that. Put that there. And now we can output our inserters. That's the second item we needed to get this, this whole construction loop going. Problem is, he's now outputting, this guy's outputting onto the same side as the transport belt, which we just can't have. So what we need to do is we need to force the inserters to go to the other side of the belt. And all I've done is put a belt underneath, so this is falling off this belt onto what becomes the top side of the other belt. And when I hook these two together, we should have output into green sites. And let's go nuts with our lights so we can see what we're doing. We can never have too many lights. And we now have automation of logistic science packs. So the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need to refill all the coal from the looks of it. Yep, just about all the coal from the looks of it. A thousand coal again run back up here. I want this to keep running. I'm, I'm, when we decide to decommission it is when we decide to decommission it. Um, up until then, I want it to keep running, keep keep feeding all these builds until I physically go through and remove each build. So we want our science labs, so we'll just pick up all the red science that we've already got. Pick up this gear belt because it's now not doing anything and as you can see somewhere along the line our research completed for the steel pickaxe so we're now our pickup speed is much faster than it was before um, and we're going to pick up more coal not that there's a lot in there uh, i'm going to feed those two furnaces i don't need those two furnaces running anymore they so they can be decommissioned this copper ore can go into those smelters because I don't need it either. Uh, and we'll refill all of these guys. Uh, I'll raid any iron that they happen to have. I'll raid the ammo again. We'll raid the green circuits again. The belt, the gears, everything. Uh, okay, our labs. Oop. Oh, I put down a... Okay. I'll get to you. Because I put down a lab. It's like, oh, you, you want to do research. Let's do research. What research would you like to do? None of them, please. Thanks. Those two, those two, those two. Uh, now, one of the changes in version 17 is automatically, even if we're not running science... Um, the inserters will pick up science and put it in the labs ready to go. Uh, we obviously want to push these guys further out. Uh, oops. There and there. Um, and as you can see, I've got 100 red packs on me. So I want to put those in the output slot there. Um, so that, that machine, which is the first one to kick on, will empty them out and put them on the belt ready for us to choose a research. Research-wise, first thing I think we're going to want is Military 2. 
Okay. Military 2 will give us advanced uh, armor piercing rounds and grenades. Not we really, really need either of them at the moment. Just makes the combat, makes us more able to do more combat when we need it. At the moment, we're laying waste to the biters, but the last thing you want is the biters to out-tech you. So I always recommend as soon as you can to start getting some of the more advanced uh, military research. Um, next thing we might as well unlock is... So tool belt will give us an extra 10 inventory slots. Slots Again, if you're filling up your inventory, I'd recommend grabbing this one. Sorry, I just kicked something. I don't know whether that came up in the mic. Um, energy distribution. Energy distribution will give us bigger and better power poles. It means no more chopping down wood. Unfortunately, we need steel for it, and we haven't automated steel yet. In fact, we haven't even built any steel yet. So I am going to grab this one. We're going to need to upgrade to steel fairly soon. Um, you know what? They're probably the only researchers we actually need. Um, we're going to grab landfill in case any lakes get in the way. Uh, we're then going to get the bullet. Hang on. That's the projectile damage. Always want damage over speed. It's much better to get more damage out of your bullets than it is to use more bullets to do the same amount of damage. Uh, that's probably it. So we can then get rid of the tech tree and... For the moment, everything's automated. We have a little base. It's powering on beautifully. It's doing what it needs to. Um, one thing we could probably do. So you're not outputting inserters fast enough, but you are outputting them fast enough to keep this happy. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a box right here. We're going to move our zigzag over one tile. I'm going to put down another inserter. So we put into a box and take out of the box because that way we have a box to rate. Um, cut that off. Gonna do the exact same thing here. We know from before I need actually two inserters because this makes two per second. And we already know that our inserter is not fast enough to output. So if I upgrade it with a fast inserter, oh, we can now see that we can output a lot faster. Same time, we can also see that we're not getting gears fast enough because we're not getting iron fast enough. So, a couple more fast inserters along. Are we now getting gears fast enough? No, nope. we need a fast inserter there as well. Okay, so you're now running at peak, peak performance. Um, we need a slow inserter. That's all we need. To get that one running, to get that one running. So... This is a happy combination. This can't output fast enough again. So let's just make 10 of them because I can see we're going to need them. So you're now outputting faster. But we can see by the, the green circuits flashing red, we're not getting those in fast enough. Which is then going to move the bottleneck across the gears. Replace those two gear... The, the two... Replace the two inserters fitting the gear machine. And as you can see, this is now running much, much faster. It's still getting on the belt fast enough to maintain our green science flow. Um, actually, it looks like the shortfall currently is our labs. So let's make, how many labs do we have? Six, five, six. Let's make six more labs. Same time, let's make I can see I've only got one of these, 14 of those, so let's just handcraft a dozen more everything. Okay, so our six laps. <clears throat> now, logically, you'd assume I put them on the other side of the belt. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pop them down here, and then I'm going to run inserters between my laps. Because these guys can pull science out of that lap. It does mean that you may have a downtime as this inserter steals science from this lab to run that lab. So it is something you have to keep in mind that the, this you cannot extend this forever. I normally recommend no more than five deep. Five is 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 about the the most you want to go. Um, so, but it is a trick you can do to extend your lab. So I've just doubled our, our research speed. We're still producing stuff more than fast enough, so that's not really an issue. 
So really, the next thing we need to do is we need to start looking at these other furnace blocks and trying to get them up and running. Um, actually, no, the next thing we probably need to do is we need to move ammunition production. So let's do that. Because we've now got... No, we don't have. Okay. <coughs> we now have... Green circuits automated. And I've done that one pass there. So it's only anything that this doesn't require gets put into a chest. Uh, we could do with automating gears again. So let's do gears again. Uh, more chests. We've got our gears automated. We've got our inserters automated. We've got our belts automated. We are more automated than we were last time. Uh, let's continue this forward. Uh, lights. Gun turret there. Gun turret there. Ammo production. One with a gap of one with another one. Uh, I'm going to use fast inserters because I already know ammo production needs four iron plate. Um, and the normal ones probably won't keep up. And actually, I want to put this past where science is. I want science to get all the materials at once first. Stop it, inserters. You're being difficult. I'm just right-clicking on the ground to pick up. Pick up anything that's on the ground that I want to remove. Uh, okay, in that case, you can go there, you can go there, gears can go there. Pick up the inserters, pick up the stuff that dropped on the ground. One there, ghost there, ghost there. That's just for placement, so I can see, I, I can make sure I have that three tile gap in the middle for putting down a chest with ammo production there and ammo production there. Ah, uh, is one inserter enough? Yes. So one fast inserter is more than fast enough to feed this. Unfortunately, we now have an issue of we don't have enough iron at all. Science is first priority. Um, everything else is into our gear and into our ammo production. <clears throat> so we need to look at trying to get another furnace block up and running to get more iron. So, going from our previous experience, we can, we've got lots of belts, lots of undergrounds, uh, probably not nearly enough inserters. So, but we have produced 20,000 iron plates per hour. If I hit P, ooh, one hour. We're at 19,000, so obviously we hit 20,000 for just a fraction of a second. So, I can run along here, place down these furnaces, Run back up, place these furnaces. If I hold, if I if I click on a power pole, and then I drag it to anywhere where a power pole exists on a blueprint, it'll only put it in those places. It won't put it anywhere else. But I have to start on a ghosted blueprint. It's it's one of the quirks of the way the system works, but it does work, and it just saves me trying to manually click in all the spots where I need to. Uh, we can put down this and start getting coal running up the belt at least. And get coal running up this belt. Continue that up to there. Uh, I have no idea if the same trick, no, the same trick does not work for inserters. So these you have to click manually and I normally find the best method is just up and down. Do all four at once. Um, your mileage may vary. Um, do whatever you feel is best, most comfortable, fastest for you. Because, yeah, we need to set up a lot of smelter blocks. And unfortunately, it, this is probably the most boring and mundane part of Factorio. Setting up those early smelter blocks. Um, but it's something that has to be done. Um, there is no better way to mass produce any sort of iron plate or, or any sort of a, a smelter good being plate or, or brick. Um, but yeah, that'll give us a second belt of iron. 
because that's the only thing I'm planning on running in there, just iron. Now I want one of those. So I need iron gears. Uh, you guys want coal, you can have coal. I want that, I want that, I want all that coal. Um, I've still got plenty of furnaces at this stage. Okay. No. Craft. No, no iron plate. Okay. So, we can run down here and clean out all these guys of iron plate. Uh, I can start removing... So, I don't need belt production anymore. You can go away. You have, as we can see on the right hand side, this guy has expected resources of 1.4k iron. This guy's got expected resources of nothing. He's actually dry. He's bone dry. He's done. Uh, we can, oops. I keep forgetting to actually craft them. I didn't have any iron. Oh, come on, craft faster. Oh, that's right. They changed the crafting time. They used to take half a second. They now take two seconds. Okay. A little bit of iron. Not a lot. You're done, you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done, and you're done. Okay, really little bit of iron. But I can do the same on this side and fill up the belt a little bit more. Run this belt up. Uh, now, what I actually want to do is I want to move everything up by a tile. And as you can see, we're not using all the iron on this belt. In fact, anything that's on the right hand side, we basically weren't using. So I want to merge these two belts. And take the excess from one <coughs> up into the second smelter. Now, one of the other things I can do is I can do output priority left. I want to make sure that this belt is always full and this only takes the excess because obviously there isn't a lot of production happening down here on this second belt where is those lights let's let's light up the world one lamp all the time uh let's craft a heap more of those i crafted radars so i'd use them and they didn't use them so I want to take the excess. Um, obviously, as I rip up more and more of um, more and more of this smelter block, um, actually, like I don't need green circuits anymore. So let's get rid of you guys. Can go. Uh, players' inventory full. Okay, you can have some iron. You can have some iron. You can have some copper. You can go away. Gear machine could potentially go away if I could fit it somewhere. You can go there. You can have that. I've got a heap of wood. Make that into power poles. Pick up that. Pick up that. All that can go away. Bring that down. What can't we fit? I've got too much coal. There we go. Mm, nope. More of those, actually. That's what I want. Unfortunately, they're hidden behind power poles, so it'll take a while to get there. But... We now have a sm second smelter block. So we know our iron is running dry by about here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to break the belt at that point. None of this stuff uses copper anyway. This is the last item using copper. So I'm going to take our second iron belt. And we will clean all this up later and have a dedicated iron and dedicated copper. But for the moment, I just want to get things running. I can tidy things up after the fact. Run this down into here. 
We don't need any of this copper, so I'll pick that up by holding F and running along the belt, putting it in my inventory. And we can have a dedicated copper build, uh, a dedicated iron lane. Come down here to make ourselves gears, well, the gears we need for our inserters, plus the gears we need for us personally, plus a heap of ammo. In fact, I'm going to... Because we had two lots of ammo down there. Really? I've still got more stuff in my inventory. Have some coal, guys. I know you'd be flush to have it. There we go. Uh, a heap of iron plate. You can have some iron, you can have some iron, you can have some iron, you can have some iron. Okay. Because we had two assemblers down there doing ammo, I'm going to do the exact same up here. Uh, with more fast inserters, please. Copy, paste, paste. So we can mass produce the ammo. I want as much ammo as possible. Because um, it's something I, I definitely don't want to run out of. Which now means from our starter base, what's left? Uh, ammo production is now automated. So all of that can now go. Um, coal obviously needs to be looked at. So we'll fill this belt back. In. We'll fill this belt in rather. And uh, power's in the yellow again. Okay. Pick up you guys. I did have a problem with having too much iron. So in that case, let's go... Uh, how many do we have over there? We've got... So, 5, 10, 15, 16. Uh, always replace your power poles. You never know where power is running. Uh, you're done. You're done. Okay. We've made a he heap of those. The next thing I want is going to be... I want steam engines, which need uh, gears and pipes. And I'm going to literally set up a temporary build in the middle of nowhere. Uh, actually, with a fast inserter, fast inserter, fast inserter box. And I'm going to feed 100 in there, 100 in there, whatever's left in there. Power that up, power that up, power that up, and away it goes. Okay, which means I can now come up here and raid any excess iron we have in these furnaces. Players inventory is full, that's a good sign. And start mass producing steam engines. At the same time, I can start crafting them. They are a horrible thing to craft because they need gears and pipes, and of course, they haven't automated pipes yet. Uh, coal can go into those guys. Just a matter of clearing out the inventory whenever you get a chance. Uh, more iron. And again, I'm just I, I'm picking up the excess. What these guys can't output is is fine. I can steal all that without an issue. Uh, how is that? Ten. I need 26. Yeah, I'll have all of those. And I'll have all of those. Maybe that's enough. That's, that's at least enough to get us started. Because power is bad. No, power's good again. No, power's bad. Okay. So I really want to get power looked at. So to continue on, we're gonna we're gonna put down a light. Might as well put one there. We're gonna use our copy command and paste, paste, paste. Oops. Uh, let's go with cut. That didn't work. Oh, that sort of worked. Okay, uh, pipe, 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 uh, burner inserters, I don't have any burner inserters, okay, normal inserters it is, 
Now, because I've got a ghosted item there, those inserters won't pick up coal and dump it on the ground. If that was removed, the inserter does what the inserter does and starts dumping shit on the ground that I need to clean up. So, remember that. If there's a ghost in the way, the inserter will be patient and wait. If there isn't, it'll be lazy and just do what a stupid inserter does. And, oops. Power poles. Yeah, if, 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 if an inserter can, an inserter will. It's basically the long and short of this story. Um, they're not the brightest cookies. But this should hopefully fix our power problem for quite some time. Uh, and I went way too long in this episode. But power sorted. We're going to dump down our radar. Um, we're going to call it for this episode. We can see we have plenty of biter friends to keep us happy and, and, and cuddly and warm at night. So maybe in the next couple of episodes we'll start, well, we're, we're going to start having to make iron piercing ammo just because it's going to be quicker to kill them with, um, along with making steel. But they're all things we'll cover in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying uh, this little series on fact Factory Island. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.